for cultural anthropology chapter one from humanity and peoples anthropology is defined as the study of people people and meaning human beings and so this class has anything to do with humanity the five main categories are going to open up with are physical biological anthropology and that has to do with our genetics our inherited traits like we associated with race one race of humans right many ethnicities but biologically there is only one race or species of humans secondly we have cultural anthropology and culture is learned behavior you're not born with culture culture has to be given to you and that is normally done through our parents through our schools through our churches and then through different me in our cultures a lot of it comes through media through music television think how much television or videos are purveyors of culture in modern American society it's am amazing right how influential they are on what we think is normal what we think is beautiful what we think is edible what we think is good what we think is evil and those are all being put onto us by our culture and the fancy word for that is called enculturation and we have all been enculturated into one or more cultures thirdly we have archaeology and archaeology is looking at the past and I'm just gonna list these and then we're gonna go into more detail on each one of them the fourth one is anthropological linguistics and I believe that's chapter three and what they're interested in is how language and culture interplay and so they study different people groups they're looking to see are there universals that all cultures in the world share and there are different universal grammar themes which I find quite interesting um, but there also are kind of like a window into the culture and what these anthropological linguistics study is like what kind of words do cultures use um, how do they describe different directions how do they arrange things and all these things become like insights into the way those cultures the language shows you the way they perceive the world sir Blackburn yes are they also speaking about nonverbal communication yes but do they, do they study those do they go into that too or is it more just like the language itself we will cover that in the class but these people are mostly looking at uh, verbal languages not all of them have been written down and we'll make those distinctions later as well but okay. certainly okay. you're absolutely correct I mean much of our communication which is nice having this zoom is you can actually see at least part of my body language right at least from my chest up yeah, and yeah well that's what I was gonna say is like in other cultures like the way they express their happiness is a lot different than the way we do here so correct like communication is also nonverbal and like language I guess too like even like sign language you know yes body, body, even like your body they say it's it's kind of funny they, they say body language but like it holds truth that like your body language is even it can like express itself you know yes very much thank you Joseph and, and there's a trip for you right you would think sign language would be universal regardless if you're coming from a Spanish-speaking country English um, Chinese but no even sign language has its own dialects and is different so you would have even if you knew American sign language you would have to learn um, Mexican sign language if you wanted to communicate with people that's signed in Mexico and so interesting to me all right and lastly we have applied anthropology and this is kind of like if if you're just taken by this class and you want to pursue it unfortunately we don't have an anthropology major at the school at this time but it shows you what you could do with like an anthropology degree what kind of fields of work you could get into all right so there's the quick overview of the chapter and let's just go go through them one at a time now